Hi, it's Sam again from DC Metro Maternity. Today I am here to talk to you about what happens when your water breaks. So on TV, this is how it always starts when someone is about to go into labor. There's a huge gush and it usually soaks either something very expensive or something in public. Um, that's not actually how it happens for most people when they go into labor but eventually your water will break. Um, you might hear this called a couple of different things. So this is when your membranes rupture or your bag of waters breaks, it's all the same thing. When this happens, you're gonna wanna um, take note of some information. We have an acronym to do this. Um, I think of it as TACO because I love food. So TACO stands for time, amount, color, and odor. This is all related to the fluid that is now leaving your vagina when your water breaks. So time, you just wanna like seriously look at your watch, note what time it is, not that deep. Amount, we're talking about a trickle or a gush. So if you are um, fortunate enough to be like the people on TV, we're gonna call that fortunate, right? Then you'll know it's gonna be big, it's gonna be wet, awesome, your water broke. Some people experience more of a trickle and they call us as their doula and they're like, either my water broke or I peed a little, I'm not sure. Uh, so that's the amount that we're talking about. Please don't pull out a measuring cup. You don't have to do that. <laughs> um, but we wanna be able to tell the provider how much your um, fluid is leaking. Color is an important one. You want this to be clear. Amniotic fluid should not be rainbow colored. Um, the colors that we are concerned about are green, yellow, or brown. Um, when we see colors, it means one of two things. Either your baby inside of you has had its first bowel movement, which is not an emergency, but it is something that your provider is gonna wanna know about. Or if, um, there were strange colors and it could potentially mean a sign of infection. So please call your provider right away. Nothing should be coming out of your vagina that's green. Um, and then when we talk about odor, amniotic fluid might smell sweet, it might smell like musky or earthy, but you don't want it to have a foul odor. Um, anything that stinks, is another sign of infection, which just means that you need to go be seen by a provider um, so that you and your baby are all taken care of and safe. So again, the acronym that we're remembering when our water breaks is um, TACO, time, amount, color, odor. Um, if you're less into food, then you might hear this called coat. It's the same thing. That's just color, odor, amount, time. So. Next time your water breaks, um, just remember this acronym and let the appropriate people know. Thanks for listening. Bye. Um, make sure to visit us at dcmetromaternity.com.